Rookie year, you guys go 32 and 50, so you land the number one pick the following year. Greg Oden goes one, KD goes two. Um, what was it like? You know, you, you you're saying you and B Roy kind of found your chemistry. You add a monster in the middle because he was super talented, just yeah. injury ridden as a motherfucker. But what was that like with you three? You guys had Dylan. What was the record when they played together? Fifty-two and twelve. When you guys all three were on the court at the same time, talk about what you feel like that was and what you feel like it could have been if B didn't start getting hurt and yeah, G didn't gee. start getting hurt. First, shout out Greg, man, because he he wasn't a bust. I remember like he was hurt because people call, start calling. Bro, him when a bust. he was playing, he was a double double machine. When he played, bro, I never seen a motherfucker dominate that much. Like he was dominant out there. So it was just. For me, it was confusing because, you know, young bulls, man, like, you know, I want my own, you know, like my own shit too, like my own opportunity. Like, I, I ain't gonna sit here and like lie to you. So for me, it was just like tough because we were good as a motherfucker when they were healthy. But then for me, it was like, every time we got healthy, because we had Andre Miller too, and that motherfucker's a dog too. I love playing with him. Dre Miller, lob, yeah. lob, lob, the best, Dre, the best always lob under control. Ever. One of the smartest motherfuckers you would ever play Moving with, Moving two miles per hour, we get anywhere on the court. <laughs> I have a story for him next, but um, so then it's like, um, we got him, so every time we were healthy, I would be on the trade block, because it was like, well, we really kind of need him, but we don't, and we can go get us, you know, like, like a three and D guy for him, because he's like good, and, but then Greg gets hurt, then it's like, oh, we need you, come back. And then I would, you know, get the ball more. They would play through me more. So, bro, it's like, you need me, you don't want me. You, you know what I'm saying? It's like, that shit was a lot to deal with. It's like, if you want me to, even when we got everybody healthy, like, just put me in like that, that a Lamar Odom role. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, just play through me every now and then. Cause like, that, that motherfucker was cold. And, and, and he wasn't Kobe or none of them motherfuckers, but they needed him, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, put me in that role, but they never did. It was always like, when we were healthy, they didn't need me, you know what I'm saying? So that was tough, but no, nah, Greg was a monster, bro. I've never seen nobody dominate like that, like so easily. It mm. was crazy. Speak to B-Roy's game, though. You know, he was someone else that that, that maybe one of the top five, top ten what-ifs type player, but he was out the top gates. Top two what-ifs. <laughs> Even the guy hurt, bro. bro. Out the gates, he was tough. Shit was too easy for him. Like, playing with that, like, playing with that nigga, it was, it was too easy. Like, I remember – the thing that stands out to me was like the fucking uh, Toronto game. Right, motherfucker went up and he changed hands on Box and went to the left in the air and like, bro, it was just he got in the gym and he worked, but the shit was just, but he couldn't work too much because of his knees. So it was like he found the balance, bro. But like he would come in the game, that shit would be too easy for him. Like, Kobe's a motherfucker, and I remember him going there with, with Kobe and Kobe giving him the respect, kind of like Dame did too, and got, you know, got the same thing, but. I remember him and Kobe going at it. I remember after the game, like Kobe was like, he got no weakness. And Kobe said that about you. That's that's real. I don't think nobody went at Kobe like like B Roy. Bro, it, they went at they it. They went at it. They went at it, bro. They went at it, bro. So yeah. to see them, to, to see Kobe, who we all had up here, and see them go neck and neck like that, that shit was tough. And B Roy holding his own. Holding his own, bro. We going to LA and getting wins because this motherfucker's carrying us. <laughs>